all right we are at the end of this series and i'm glad you are liking this video truly appreciate your time and support folks so let's jump okay. onto the screen right and if in case you don't know how to create this pivot table you can watch the previous series folks if in case you are a new okay then don't forget to subscribe our channel when we insert this pivot table right that time we can see at the top there is a pivot table analyze button is available right in this what we have we have this slicer we have timeline we have refresh we have change data source so on so forth multiple information available start with one by one okay and we'll explain you each part folks suppose you want to change a pivot table name right so that time we can use this suppose i want to say training day 5 okay and i'll just select it outside cool if you want to check that name just right click it and then pivot table option you can see the name of that particular pivot table now let me just keep this on ribbon tab and then field setting this is the field setting what we have the custom name so what is the field we have added so this particular name we can see it over here this is the product for us that that's the reason we are seeing it over here if in case any kind of a calculation added over here so we can see that as well okay sum of average sales so this is the percentage sum we have did earlier we have seen already right we have did a percentage sign over here so on so forth cool so those kind of setting we can see it over here pound field and uh, collapse field this option helps when you your data set is available in the group section right that time we use it let me just click on this option okay i'm just randomly adding this as a group first okay sales i have did and i have added a product okay at the bottom or maybe i just remove this i'll just keep a customer over here okay uh, base is the customer what type of purchase he did so we can see it over here and i just want to do do a collapse so i can do a collapse so this is the overall view for me and this is the drill down for view for me this is what we can see it in case you created a group you can see this option okay inside this this group available if in case you want to ungroup you can just remove that group simply now this slicer button i want to insert a buttons okay that time i use this and region okay simply i just inserted this i want to filter it out the data only monitor and in west region suppose in monitor i have very limited data let me just select printer office desk or maybe smartphone okay so these are the items i have picked okay i just want to see the data for the south region simply i just select south region and only the south region data i can get it over here i'll click again over here plus point here we can see the drill down of that data for the south region only printer smartphone tablet so on so forth right pivot table analyze here we have the option called refresh and refresh all okay when we append any data at the back end right suppose this is the data set what have right and uh, i want to delete these entries first okay control minus entire column and i have only 10 entries now this is the limited entries just for demo purpose i am doing it and uh, if i click over here and refresh it so data will automatically delete it because we don't have a data at the back end right so that's the reason data has been refreshed cool now pure table analyze again change the data source data source is referring to this particular sheet right if in case you have the different source altogether you can you know, select that range and click the okay automatically that data will take a new path cool now earlier series i have told that you know if in case i want to change this row labels right uh, what is the this category is all about so that we can do it with the help of this simple field list option okay here it's a product name given let me just remove this customer name first product its product is not available over here it's showing a row label go to the design ribbon tab tabular form cool as soon as i click on show and tabular form you can see whatever headers are given in the row section we can see it that as well so right now we have very limited data folks okay so that's the reason uh, we'll uh, not able to see this subtotal and all this details if in case you have the larger data set that time you can check this options right definitely right grand total is available for me i don't want to see that so i'll just remove it 
if in case I want to change the design I can change the design as well from pure table styles here there is a numerous options and you can make it more presentable basis your requirement folks okay branded columns this is again it's a part of design okay when you turn that off okay this particular rows line is given right this is the horizontal line it's turn off and on like this for columns too cool column headers if you want to highlight that you can turn that on likewise for row headers as well so this is it all about pure table section folks if in case you have any questions need any help in terms of creating a new pure table altogether we are happy to help you there okay if in case you are new to this channel i would urge you please subscribe us and don't forget to like this video thanks for watching